Originally in English, August 2023. Question from a follower. Many of us are already clear about the 2030 agenda, but doesn't the light have its own agenda and plans? The light, as in the positive side? Yes, I imagine. The light, that's also referring to Lucifer. So that's murky. Well, that aside, it refers to the positive side. Well, of course it has its own plans. Mostly that it's all inherently just an experience and that the drama only happens on Earth, on that plane. However, we know that this is also murky. It is not necessary to suffer in order to advance in spiritual development. But that is only at a certain level attained, because below that many people will not grow and will not advance without quite extensive friction or suffering. So then, it is necessary for the Earth to be the way it is? From certain points of view, yes. Wanting to validate that positive plan, it is what has been said for a long time, that everyone will see and live their own world, and that finally the planet is in ascension. Very new age, but there is some truth in that. Someone asked us in the interview if Gaia is ascending. How would you answer? that it is only ascending from certain points of view that are associated with those more positive souls. Not in an absolute way, because it is not so simple. That is to say, it will depend on who is living it, whether it is ascending or not. It depends on who is experiencing it. And yes, it is ascending, but for or from the point of view of the strongest and most positive star seeds. Planetary ascension is a relative thing. You say there is some truth in ascension? In what sense ascension? Interstellar life? Free technologies? The matrix falling and holistic living? Or in what way is there any truth in ascension? In all that context and more. That is, from the point of view of an improvement of life, and with that, of vibration of the mass population that is compatible with that frequency vibration. Is that the positive agenda of the beyond? But on the other hand, if that happens, they lose their limited realm of experience. Yes, that is what I mean. But I also see it as inevitable and that it emanates or manifests not only as an agenda from the positive side, but emerging directly out of what the strong positive souls are manifesting for themselves, which filters down to that being what all those like-minded positive souls will experience as a shared experience. Mm, yes, but the souls that want that are few, are they not? Most do not want that, and they want the earth as it is. It seems so, yes, although there are many who desire the positive, and they are very strong. They do not have to be equal in number. One starseed manifests equal to a whole city or more, depending on factors, of course. So, with what you are saying, you see a positive future for the starseeds? Yes, but it depends on the starseeds themselves and what they manifest for themselves. Right now, it's like a toss of a coin. 
you don't know what will happen. The timelines are fragmented and dispersed. Everything changes day by day. From another point of view, it is a real struggle between good and evil right now on Earth. The Earth being fragmented, it seems especially now that everything is very fragmented, doesn't it? Or has it always been to this degree as it is now? That's right, it is. I feel that it is especially fragmented today. And why do the positive souls from beyond want to remove the park of limitations for other souls who still need that? No one will take that away from them. Everyone will see and live what they manifest. The earth with its problems will continue as always, or worse. But it will depend on each one, on each group with its collective, what they will live. And it is not something for the future, even though I have been writing like this. It is something that is now. It is already happening now. The fragmentation of various Earths, Dolores Cannon mode then, that is into the future. And although Dolores is right, that has always existed. And it has always been this way on Earth and elsewhere. People live and experience what is according to their vibration, and bad things cannot touch them. But for that, they must be isolated, at least sometimes. Not realizing or not knowing what is supposedly going on regarding issues of suffering. With isolated realms, a la Dolores Cannon. That's why they push the news so much to bring everything down, so that no one escapes suffering. They should not know about it, but we are informing them of things many times. We are between two worlds, yes. On the other hand, if there is something really important, the isolated people will know about it. But they don't need to be looking at bad news in places far away from where they live. I feel that it's not that we inform them of the bad events, but we explain the larger context of those events, like it was with the fires in Maui. Because they would already be informed anyway and then misinformed. You have to know what you don't want to know what you want. Isn't that so? Yes, I want to believe so.